We're also following breaking news right now from the world of diplomacy and politics. Madeleine Albright, the first woman to serve as Secretary of State, has died. Former President Bill Clinton appointed Albright as the country's top diplomat. That was back in 1996. She was a big supporter of NATO expansion and also pushed the alliance to stop ethnic cleansing in the Balkans. Her family says Albright died of cancer. She was surrounded by family and friends. She was 84 years old. A star witness took the stand today in the trial of four men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer. Ty Garbin cut a deal to reduce his own sentence if he pled guilty and testified against Adam Fox, Brandon Caserta, Daniel Harris, and Barry Croft. Today, Garbin testified the Whitmer kidnapping was intended to spark a second civil war. He said during training sessions, the men built so-called shoot houses to simulate rooms at Whitmer's vacation home and the state capitol. Garbin also said they did surveillance of the governor's Elk Rapids home. Tonight at 5, more key testimony, including why the men felt the need to speed up their plan just days before they were arrested. We are learning much more about a dangerous fire at an apartment complex in Warren. It left an eight-year-old girl injured. It happened early this morning at the Warren Manor Apartments on DeQuinder, north of 8 Mile. Many people were sleeping when the fire broke out. L'Oreal Brown suffered burns as her family tried to escape. They raced to escape, but were told she is expected to recover. Eight units are destroyed and a few others damaged. We're following the search for a cause and also looking at the history of the complex. That's coming up tonight at 5.